Okay, it is the seventh of June. It's tenth, uh, almost the thirty-two. And here I'm at uh, Tri City uh, Clinic. I have a doctor appointment, and I just want to document all of this. And she asked me about my son Hamza. <clears throat> my son has been murdered by the FBI. Mm. My ex-wife. They said that she shot herself. I don't think that she shot herself. I think they murdered her too, or they took her somewhere and said that she's. I have been filing complaints against the state for the last, since 2008, mm -hmm. all of the permits started with the Department of Fair Employment and Housing mm -hmm. and up to the Department of Justice. Mm -hmm. And everything that I have documented, because they, they keep telling you, and I, you remember when you told me who they? Right. The state and the federal government now, I found out that both of them are uh, after me. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we went to the funeral for my ex, my children, all of them, my kids, six of them got together, mm -hmm. took my sons. They drove the car with me that I was supposed to deliver to my daughter that mm -hmm. was donated by my ex-wife, which is their mom, the one that he passed, different ex-wife, the first one. And they drove with me there, and when I went to there, to the funeral, the, the, my six children got together for, for, for a long time. They haven't been, you know, since they left to the, the state. Uh, mm -hmm. My daughter left to the state in 2009, and they were kidnapped mm -hmm. at the time by the police department. I was beat up and tased and thrown in jail just because I said that you guys are violating our rights and committing crimes against us. Just not only us, everyone to put them in the system, to put, to be in accounts, domestic violence and drug addicts and drug addictions and alcohol and juvenile and everything, it is a system and this is how it, how it works. From now on, I was denied housing. I was kicked out of the housing three times. The last time I have my nonprofit and I found this thing on April 2nd, 2013, the article of cooperation from North, I didn't have income. From 2009, June 11, 2009, I got the last check for the disability, state disability. From now on, nothing. When I apply for general relief or food stamps, they take their time and they throw my application. And, and it's done to everyone. The thing that it really alarmed them about me, I am a Muslim and I'm a devout Muslim. And I'm, I wanted to give this to my children. My, Mus my children are all Muslim because if you are a father, married to a non-Muslim, and you are a Muslim, the children go after the father, follow their father religion. If you are a Jew, that's why when we marry a Jew, because we're allowed to marry any religion, as long as they are the people of the book, Christian, Catholic, and Jews. The mom, we don't marry a Jew because unless she agree to for our children to be Muslims. We respected that. So if she said no, because the Jewish people, they follow the mom. The children follow the mom religion. But anyway, I was fought from the get-go. My children, I never been 
I've been married three times, what, twice, so the last time is a long term is like marriage to me. And I spend with my children, you can count the times that I spend with my children. And the first one, divorce, you know, she, from 1988, when my son was born, until 91, three years. And I was working all the time because I was in the car business supporting him. After that, I become a single father, you know, visitation and so on. Then I got remarried from 1994 to 2001. And the same thing after I was fighting to get custody of my two boys because she likes the boys and, you know, the one that she passed. And I was marriage was destroyed, the houses and all, everything. And now all I do, I just work and make money for my family. And I used to do everything in between in my days off. I clean the house, I cook, I eat. Every time a child born, I get up in the middle of the night, feed them, change the driver. I do everything, mom and dad, okay. outside and inside. Never have any, you know, uh, and if anyone that subject to that or question that there is all called court worker. This is there is not something that I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mr. Shalban, sounds like you have been gone going through a tremendous ordeal um, since the time when you were when you left your car dealership. Um, and it sounds like right now you're going also through um, significant stress in terms of you know, understanding what happened with your son, whether he was murdered or not. Right now, um, for the past month or so, since you've received the news, how have you been feeling and how has your sleep been? I sleep the two hours. Last night I slept two hours. Mm -hmm. I don't sleep that much. Now is Ramadan, yeah, fasting month. And oh, okay. we, we pray so much. Okay. So this is kind of, you know, uh, it's helping. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To be through that time, I just want to be left alone Pray. and do my prayers and do my fasting and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I am not, there is many times the people think that because all of these things going on, we'll lose it. Someone will just go, you know. What kept me from childhood until now is mm -hmm. my creed, my belief, my mm -hmm. belief system. Mm -hmm. I don't think that people have any power over things. Everything comes from God, mm -hmm. and we do accept whether, you know, if you are a Muslim, that you know, that you understand the religion, uh, oneness, creed, it is, everything comes from our creator. And the bad things that comes is from ourselves, the good things comes is from, from God. And I'm accepting all of this. It is, there is not, it's not some that is, uh, however, it is my Children and millions of them are going through all of this and my thing that is really I devote the rest of my life since I found out How we victimize everyone not only children How we victimize everyone just to put, to put them as a revolving accounts for corporate America to prey on us because they own the government I wanted to make I wanted to bring it to the attention and I think the federal government already got it, but the crime will not stop. And I know that when I took my, when I took that bath to be an activist and to bring it to their attention, I knew exactly what is going to happen. And I'm going to tell you what is going to happen next. Someone else from my family is going to be gone soon. Mm -hmm. Because between my ex and my son is less than six weeks. Do you feel like your ex and your son were targeted? Of course. Do you feel like because if it's yes, okay. I don't think that uh, I don't know about 
Jennifer because her brother also hung himself in, in state prison like a couple of, uh, you know, few months before Jennifer, Jimmy, all right? There is other people that died because of, and not because of all of me, because what I brought to the attention of the federal government and the state is just going crazy after me and my family. That's bottom line. That what I wanted to ask everyone, I have been mentally disabled, according to the Social Security Administration, federal, since 2014, okay, June of 2000, May of 2014. I have been in uh, mental health, taking this medication and seeing, uh, you know, uh, a psychiatrist with the Department of Mental Health. Orange County and LA and everywhere I go, Santa Barbara, everywhere, since 2008 or 2007, late 2007. To be a homeless, a mental health, a mental patient homeless, you have the federal government have this program like the Shelter Plus or the uh, Homeless Prevention, whatever. And this is a subsidy from the federal government to these recipients to house them and take care of everything else, their mental, you know, it's all done. Now, since I become a social, uh, uh, social security disabled person and from the federal government, there is a Medicaid that is supposed to give us for people with low income, the, the state, administrate the Medicaid to the Social Security recipients. They prefer to give it to Corporate America, the HMOs, and Cal Optima and all less, and get $250,000 at least a patient, each, each recipient, mm -hmm. and do everything, medical, transportation, and housing, and all that stuff. This is what I'm talking about. And everyone keep asking me who did what and when. The state is frauding the American people out of the federal government the subsidies. And this is not only for medical care recipients. Uh, yeah, medical care recipients is for everything. Children, uh, home support, and Mr. everything. Mr. Shaman, I, yes. I understand. It's not a fair system by far. It's definitely something that we need to work on. Um, but for your sake, for you specifically. What is my house? Why I'm why I'm homeless until then? Why I am homeless? Where where is where is the stuff that I'm supposed to get okay. as millions of others in the streets? Why the state is, is yeah. doing committing these crimes yeah. and acting like we have a problem. Yeah. Outside of what we can do for the general public, today is a recession. I'd like to focus on you specifically. If you want I want a housing. Okay. I want it legal, legal advice to get my legal help appropriate to go to court and get the, my children that they've been kidnapped. Okay, so that kidnapped. would be stuff that you and I can go more into tomorrow. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I, I am going to walk but, out in like 10 minutes because I have another appointment. Um, yes, okay. But... I am making note of these things because I'm realizing what's really important. What's I want to get my expertise for my children, okay. the two little ones, so that they are here, that the, the state is kidnapping as we speak, mm -hmm. and that there is a, 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 a racist person that making hate yeah. statements on, on Facebook and, and my website and so on, mm -hmm. committing crimes against my children. And I'm talking about crimes that they are not some that is, oh, well, abuse, they might have killed them. Crimes. I'm talking about molestation. I'm talking about the hate crimes against them, telling them that you are an if Muslims and, you know, cussing me out. We're going to do the. It's hate crimes. It's crimes. Mm -hmm. That everyone looking at it, I tell. And they say, no, Mr. Shaban is ISIS. And the FBI call me and telling me what you think of the San Bernardino, what you think of this, what you think of that. Sounds like Nicole is going to definitely address those concerns for you. We're not going to glaze over them, okay? I know you've been to county to county to county, 
and you've had all of these problems regardless of where you're going. But since you're with us right now, we're definitely going to address your concerns. Okay, thank okay. you. I just wanted to make sure that Absolutely. everyone knows Absolutely. and I wanted to leave this documentation Absolutely. here because I did that with everywhere I go. Right. And everywhere I go, I see in the same practice, the same practice. We hear you. And I feel like it's, wh 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 where is the federal government? Right. Where's the Department of Justice? Right. Okay, you. thank so you. for this session specifically with myself as your psychiatrist, how can I help you with your medication? I, uh, the medication that you gave me the last time, I wanted the same thing. I wanted to be ordered to the CVS here in uh, Laverne. In Laverne? Okay. Yes, the one that I went to. That, that you went to last time? And I got it all cleared because they, they started giving me a hard time and saying, oh, well, you have to pay share cost and this and that. And then I showed them my, uh, anyway, finally, they, uh, I pay only the $3.60, the norm that mm -hmm. I do. Okay. And I wanted to get it. And uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, that's that's very good. I'm glad that you're telling me um, those medications sounds like they're working. Yes, I've been with this medication for so long. Again, right. the, the events right. that took, take place mm -hmm. in my life, it's the one that is get me to the racing thoughts because I can't, okay. I can't bear all of this, and I'm not. Okay. I, I am tired. I am really tired. So it sounds like you're. I still, am very disappointed. Yeah, sounds like you're still having insomnia. You're not sleeping as well. I'm not sleeping because. I mean, do you, do you, uh, I I, I'm a human being, I'm, I'm you know, and the, everything that is happening, it is because who I am mm -hmm. and what I stand for. Right. I have done nothing but love everyone and protected yes. everyone, yeah. including the ones that they th think that, you know, I become the criminal when I was the protector. And everyone said everything in my behalf, and the government acted upon this because of Islamophobia. That's it. There is nothing that you can, even my children, my children hated my guts. My children, they went to there and served me. Mm -hmm. They went with me, drove to Texas, and the car broke down and all that, to have the aunt take the custody of my children, my two daughters that they are there, you know, they were three, but one she's now, uh, you know, an adult. So my children did that in 2009, and they put me in, you know, not my children, but they were, everyone went to their family members, my brother, everything. And they did that to remove me from the scene. Why? because I am the person I teach my children to love each, everyone. Be kind to even the people that they are not kind to you. Mm -hmm. uh, always treat people the way you want to be. I, I, I teach them to, to be, I give them the tools to be good human beings and productive in our society because this is a father role. This is Mr. Saban, Go ahead. for my my job specifically, I need to know if there's any side effects for you because I'm in charge of your medication. I am okay with uh, everything right now. Uh, the uh, the respedone. Yes. Uh, if if I feel like I will let you know, but so far it's been it's been good. It's been good. Yes, it's I been haven't fast. been. Uh, I used to twitch before, but I was taking four four milligrams. Okay, right now you're not twitching. No, no. It sounds like you still have racing thoughts. Do you need more medication to help you with that? No, for for what I have right now, this is, again, the racing thoughts are because of okay. the last events of my okay. son. And, and this, uh, I love my children all the same, but Hamza was my, my, my boy. He's yeah. my, anyway. It's okay. You can let out your feelings. Okay, that's, that's it. I just don't want to I it. also need to have, I need to address two main concerns that I have right now for your medications. Um, currently, I understand you're getting um, a medication from Huntington Beach, a doctor who's prescribing you Lunesta. Yes. Is that for sleep? 
Yes. I don't have to take this because now at the time when I did that I was having gaps in getting my medication so that will help in that time so uh, why you want you don't want to think that this is have I will have conflicts with the other stuff that I'm taking yes okay it will make you a lot more sedated if we messed up and tried to run the case okay together. okay then uh, I will I won't take this one well, my also, my other question then would be, uh, would when you when did you get the medications filled, the ones that we provided to CVS? Uh, I think it, it, it right a couple of days after uh, I was here, so I don't know if it's still you know I have I still have a couple I don't know how many but. Okay, then does that mean? For the two days that you didn't have the medication, you went down to Huntington Beach to get the Lunesta? No, no, no. That's it's a refill, the Lunesta. Oh, the, the Lunesta is a refill. It's a refill. Yeah, okay. they call me every time because you know okay. it's uh, already in my chart. Oh, so, I see. Okay. Yeah, it's like with the okay. you, pharmacy. So you were, previously, you were seen by by Doctor Ayub. Yes. Doctor Ayub. Yes, Doctor Ayub was. Uh, I, I tried to have him as my. Your primary? Primary. Mm -hmm. Because Duman, um, I don't, you know, anyway. So. Uh, Are you still seeing Dr. Ayub? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen any doctors in the last few months. Okay. Is he your medical doctor before? Uh, he was Dr. Duman, but I went to Dr. Ayub, and okay. he was my sleep doctor. Oh, he's your sleep doctor? Yes. What kind of problems with sleep? Oh, I did two sleep studies, one in 2011 or so, okay. and the last one, you know, uh, last year, end of the year, uh, or beginning of the year. What were you diagnosed with? Uh, they, they said that it's not uh, sleep uh, ambient. It, it wasn't, it was, uh, they said, we, they didn't know. Uh, because they did all the, you know, all the tests of the breathing and all that stuff, and they said... Oh, not sleep apnea. It is not, okay. Um, okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So it, it is it is about, it's like the same thing. It's more psychiatry, you know, psychs than... Psych uh, okay. Yes, than, uh, than medical, you know what I mean? I see. Because I was referred for that... Uh, Nicole, if you want to go, because he said 10 minutes, and you get to go, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Tomorrow, then, are you okay with 3 o'clock? Tomorrow, 3? Uh, y yes, we, we can do any order than that time. I have it all booked, I promise. Okay. Apologize. All right, so 3 o'clock is fine. Okay, and then tomorrow, when we sit together, we'll schedule a time that's more convenient for the next week. Okay, okay. sounds good. Thank you. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you, um, okay, so that's what I definitely suggest not.